Diana Cooper, 805 Paradise Lane. Thank you, Mayor Hedenskog and Council. Um, and actually, thank you for the correction earlier that you, I'm pretty sure you had heard that from me, so I appreciate your correction about the ADUs earlier. Um, while I know this meeting is about the feeding ministry, not St. Timothy specifically, I want to highlight that when one ministry is threatened, it affects all the ministries and the community as a whole. If it wasn't for St. Timothy's, Brookings core response wouldn't be in existence. We recently established our own 501c3 as of September, and none of that would have been possible without St. Timothy's, and, and still without St. Timothy's. Um, it's been kind of a strange day. Michelle and I just left an award ceremony where we won a national public health award for community health workers, and it was really amazing to see all of the collaboration across the United States with people on the ground. Um, our services here don't stand alone. We need more services, not less services. And feeding ministry is probably the most basic it can get. If it sounds like myself or others are speaking as though this is a done deal, it's because we've seen this city council vote on issues relating to homelessness. In December, you voted to criminalize people who have no other shelter besides their vehicle. This primarily affected seniors and people with disabilities because that is about 60% of the community members who live in their vehicles. Because of that vote, we had to write a grant for gas to help people find a place outside the city to sleep safely. We're still dealing with that out, outfall, fallout. In April of this year, this council identified that they had so little understanding of the transitional housing project that we were working on, they couldn't write a letter of support while simultaneously deciding you had enough information to direct then Mayor Pieper to write a letter to Oregon Community Foundation in opposition, losing us this once in a lifetime opportunity. So if it feels like the conversation from us is directed at the vote going against us, we have precedence. You can say that this is a simple attempt to bring the city in compliance, but the attempt to restrict feeding says otherwise. Your previous actions as a council say otherwise. Parties on both sides agree that this will not help the issue at hand. Instead, it will come to a lawsuit, and should the church's First Amendment rights be upheld, and we believe they will, this will be the second lawsuit won against the city of Brookings for discrimination. I understand Brookings' insurance rates increased 23 or 25 percent already. So my concern is that this would have a huge impact on the city, uh, everybody here, everybody on both sides. This isn't the solution, nobody thinks it is, other than those present sitting in front of us. My last comment is, most churches are in residential areas by design in order to give back to their community. It's what we expect them to do with their tax exemption. It's what this council expected when they asked churches to open their lots during a pandemic. Uh, we will now consider ordinance 21-0-795, an ordinance amending a subsection of the Brookings Municipal Code, Chapter 17, Land Development Code. We've had the staff report. Any staff have anything to add? Okay. Um, do I have a motion to read ordinance 21-0-795 for the first time by title only? Motion to read ordinance 21-0-795 first time. Second. And the question, please. Councilor McKinney. Aye. Councilor Morosky. Yes. Councilor Schreiber. Aye. Councilor Alcorn. Yes. Mayor Hedenskog. Aye. Motion carries. It has been moved and seconded for the first reading by title only. Is there any other discussion? The ordinance will be read by title only. In the matter of ordinance 21-0-795, an ordinance amending a subsection of the Brookings Municipal Code, Chapter 17, Land Development Code, And we're going to skip the second reading and we're going to move down. Yes, this is very simple script. We really <laughs> eliminated a lot of stuff. <laughs> Hard for me to catch up. Uh, do I have a motion to adopt ordinance 21-0-795? I'll make a motion to adopt ordinance 
0795. I'll second that motion. Okay. Call the question, please. Councilor Morosky. Discussion? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's hold one second. Okay. Any discussion on the motion? No. Okay. Take the total. Councilor Morosky. Yes. Councilor Schreiber. Yes. Councilor Alcorn. Yes. Councilor McKinney. Yes. Mayor Hedenstrom. Yes. Motion carries.